Hello everyone, this is Mother Susan Raj, today 30th August 2018. It's been two years now since the demonetization exercise was started by the present Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi. If you remember, it was 8th November 2016. At 8 p.m. in the evening, Narendra Modi came on the national television and announced that on that day from 12 o'clock in midnight, all the 500 and 1000 rupees denomination notes will no longer be legal tender, but they will become just pieces of paper. The original goal that uh, Narendra Modi cited for this exercise was, uh, there were three. The first goal was to obviously curb the uh, minutes of corruption, of black money. So the idea was that if the 500,000 rupees notes were banned, uh, then most of the black money was kept in those uh, higher denomination notes of 500,000 rupees. So those people who, who have undeclared income, undeclared in the sense that they have not declared the income to the income tax department of India, they will be forced to destroy that currency because in no way they will be able to turn that money back into the system because if they go to the bank they will have to declare that currency notes and of course there will be then tax. So the, so the goal was to you know kind of unearth this so-called black money which the amount that the Modi salted was something like uh, a 5 lakh crore rupees that was the government was hoping to not return into the system and that would have been a windfall gain for the RBI as well as for the banks and they could you know write it off all the so-called non-performing assets so that was the first goal the second goal was to uh, counter the problem of uh, fake notes the counterfeiting currency notes and the third goal was to fight terrorism because uh, Modi government believed that uh, the terror groups are funding their activities via fake currency notes that they are printing in Pakistan and smuggling it via the groups of Nepal most probably. So as the demonetization exercise started unfolding after 8th November, uh, we increasingly saw that all these three-sided goals were looked to be impossible. Fake currency note of the new 2000 rupees notes also started circulating immediately after the demonetization exercise started. Uh, we also saw the bureaucrats started in you know, asking for bribing new 2000 rupees currency notes. So corruption was you know, as it was before the demonetization de exercise started. And obviously, since the Narendra Modi government came to power in 2014, the terrorist attacks in areas like Kashmir and the areas like Assam or Jharkhand, um, Mao, you know, kind of attacks, they have all increased. You know, they have increased, you know, three, four, four fold in Kashmir, for example. Every day we are hearing the news that one or two of our brother soldiers, you know, are dying on the border at the hands of the terrorists. So then they shifted the goalpost and they said that uh, no, no, the goals were not those three, but the goal was to make the Indian economy cashless and you know put it on the track of uh, digital currency payments. So now uh, it's been two years now, and a couple of days back, the RBI uh, in their annual report gave the official numbers that what amount of currency note went back into the system, into the chest of RBI. And the numbers are quite startling. RBI said that out of total 100% notes, they have received 99.31% note into their chest. So the public, Indian public, returned all the notes that were circulating into the economy, something like 15. Uh, for zero lakh rupees, trillion rupees notes. Out of that, public has returned something like 15.31 uh, crore rupee notes, 15.31 trillion rupee notes. So that means that all the demonetization exercise was absolutely for nothing. There was no black money. Whatever black money was there, people were able to convert that also into the white money and turn it back into the banking system. There was no windfall gain for the government. In fact, 
RBI had to spend something like 8,000 crore rupees to print new currency notes. And remember, we still have to account for the notes that did not come back from the places like Nepal because the RBI did not allow those people to deposit all their old notes, 500 and 1000 rupees notes. So almost all the notes came back into the system. So that means that the demonetization was utterly unsuccessful and a failure program of the Modi government. And not only that, it was a failure, as I said, on the very night when the monetize exercise was uh, announced. On that very night, I released more video in that I said that all these things are going to happen. Because, of course, the kind of corruption that we have in the system, people were able to collude with the banking officers and the IT officials and turn their black money into white money. So demonetize exercise ultimately turned out to be a, an exercise for converting your black money into white money. So ultimately who lost? The public lost. The informal sector of the Indian economy is still really under all kind of troubles. You know, they have not, you know, got up on their feet after the, you know, uh, double whammy impact of the monetization and the GST regime, the goods and service tax. Businesses are still struggling, informal sector's back is broken. Many people died, remember, standing in the lines of banks during the demonetization exercise, supposedly to for the greater good of uh, welfare of this country. But as it turns out, after this RBI's report, we know that there was no welfare of this country. In fact, the economic growth came down to 5%. So lakhs of crores of rupees of uh, investment and income was lost due to this exercise. So all in all, the whole demonetization exercise was an utter failure. But government is government. Even after this failure, the Narendra Modi government is not ready to accept that demonetization was a failure. Yesterday, the economic affairs minister, some guy, Mr. Garg, he came out and he said that demonetization exercise achieved all his goals. I mean, what else can you expect from government politicians and bureaucrats? They're never going to tell the truth. They're always going to lie. So at the end of the day, the price was paid by the Indians and we are still paying the price. And I'm sure in future also, no matter what government is come, going to come into power, whether Narendra Modi is going to repeat himself, if he's going to repeat himself, then we're going to expect more such blunders. And even if he's not going to come into power, any new government that will come, they will be, I hope, a little bit responsible, but I don't think so they are going to follow any kind of right economic policy that can bring the Indian economy back on track. So, this was the, this is my final update of demonetization exercise and with that, I, I, I wrap up the reporting of demonetization exercise with this uh, RBI report, as I said, we finally come to know officially that demonetization was a grand failure. Thank you for watching me and I'll come back to you sooner or later as and when you know important events happen in the economy. Right now the stock market is zooming and that bubble is very likely to bust. So I will come with more updates in future. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.